Kayat is the Health System Innovation Lead and Director at MARS, Discovery District. First of all, give us an idea of what MARS is, what that acronym stands for. Yeah, so MARS stands for Medical and Related Sciences, and the idea was Canada needed a global address for innovation, and the, the sector that we decided was going to really put Canada on the world stage was medicine, right. but the related is key because just like exponential med, the convergence to the related sciences, arts, physical science, is where we think is the future of health and that's really what's transpired. Very, very good. Okay, well, Zana, so in your role as lead at Mars and director of Mars Excite, yeah. you play a critical role in helping your clients get their innovations adopted by large health systems. No easy task, mm -mm. no easy task. What advice do you have for the innovators here taking an idea all the way from concept to commercialization? Yeah, so I mean, I think there's been volumes written about this, but you know, just being an entrepreneur, whether you're going to start a cupcake company or um, you know, a consulting service, uh, all the way to a medical device company, is really, really, really hard. Right. And so you add on top of that, you know, the complexity of healthcare, the regulation, it takes the hard to a whole new level. Therefore, you need a facilitator, and that's what we do. So the heart of it is, I always say healthcare is a calling, it is not a business. And so you start with that passion to solve some problem that a patient needs you to solve. And if that's your beacon, everything else kind of falls into place. Because as long as it's designed for a massive, wicked, unmet need of a patient, <laughs> um, the other things will fall into place. But the innovator should focus on solving the problem. The rest of us, like Mars, put all the supports around that so they can wake up every day and build a wicked solution. And we try to block and tackle a path through that so that they can have the smoothest path possible. You know, uh, let me pivot a little bit. I want to ask yeah. you, how do you know what the right innovator is to bring into your program? Yeah. How do you vet that? Yeah, so um, kind of like what a VC would do, although we're involved a lot earlier, team, product, market. I mean, those are the first and the foremost. And you kind of get a feeling, and our general feeling is um, if the product is quite strong and the market fit is there and the team doesn't seem coachable, or we won't take it. Right. If the team seems awesome, serial entrepreneur, been there, done that, technology solid, but there's no market fit, we won't take it. So right. it's this really interesting kind of combination of forces. And then of course, layered on that is, do we have the resources that can help? So we've had a company come in that's maybe in the animal health business. Well, mm. that's not where I'm going to bring the best expertise. We want to work with companies that are solving the wickedest challenges of healthcare, and that really narrows down the consideration set. So we have about 275 startups in our portfolio, just in health alone, a thousand across financial services, tech, legal tech, uh, retail, et cetera. So Zaina, another question for you, a little off the cuff here. Yeah. How do you do the knowledge share? So as you have all of these yeah. amazing programs go through your, 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 your program, yeah. obviously you don't want people repeating the same mistakes. Yeah. What is yeah. it that you do to make sure that once something is learned, it cascades yeah. throughout everybody who is a participant in Mars? So well, there's, a, there's two parts, right? One is like anything, you codify knowledge, so any, um, knowledge we, we um, create gets codified as an asset, whether it's a video we do or a panel or a, a blog or an article, and right. then it's available for the world to consume. And about 40,000 people access kind of those assets for free online. And then the other is that's kind of like a consulting firm. You have your, your experts who've been there, done that, and they've seen it a thousand times. Right. Uh, and therefore can immediately cut the chase on the problem. And I'll, you know, the other version though is, you know, I'll get two applicants a week for a medication management, pill monitoring, yet another one. And you know, a simple Google could have told them there's already a thousand of those on the market. Right. So right away, we'll just shut it down and move on to the next one. Right. <laughs> next one. Right, right, yeah. very good. Yeah. Well, I think again, um, Zana, you're, you have a neat, unique perspective and I love that you, ha you talk about wicked challenges and, yeah. and that you want it to be Canada's address for a healthcare Global innovation. Global address, yep. Global address, no less. How is it that you see healthcare evolving yeah. five years from today? So look, in a perfect world, or you know, the, at least the vision, which is why I wake up every day and leave my three children and let somebody else watch them and do this insane job. You know, my vision is a world that, you know, a healthcare system that's personalized, so it's not kind of a one size fits all, that's continuous, not episodic, um, that's um, done at the home and not in an institution, and that finally is people powered. Right? Right. It's, it's my system. The reason all of us have jobs in this room is because of patients. Right. So at the end of the day, they should be calling the shots. And that's kind of my vision and my beacon. And that's certainly how we decide who we're going to work with and how we're going to guide them. 
You know, well, Zaina, you've touched on many themes here today, and I have one more question sure. for you. Um, again, in your, your unique role that you've got, how yeah. do we drive brilliant ideas from concept to market effectively? Yeah, so all, honestly, I think the, the tools, the resources, the emphasis on providing entrepreneurship support to go from what we say is idea to international invoice, because at the end of the day, if you don't have international invoice, you're not scaling, right? right. Um, um, so I think that's kind of there, and we've got it all figured out. In Canada alone, we have 140 accelerators. A new one pops up literally every day in America. Uh, what we need to do in our unfinished business, honestly, is, is uh, culture of innovation and entrepreneurship and status quo busting. It's got to be in the water supply right. of Canada, and we're a very comfortable country for innovation. We didn't need to innovate. We have a lot of resources. We have no corruption. We have high tolerance. And so that's actually where we spend a lot of our work, is just the opening up the possibility in someone's brain that they can leave their job right. and go do this crazy thing and you know, lose their mortgage and sometimes, frankly, lose their marriage. I mean, it is right. not an easy road. Right. That's my job, is to create possibility in people's brains. Well, I think with the energy and the enthusiasm and the insights that you bring, you are the perfect person for that job. So thank, thank you, you for so having much. me. It was Thanks a delight having here. you okay. on, Zaina. So right. thank you again for joining okay. us. We're going to bring in our next guest.